Alex here from Canyon Academy and today I'm going to go over some of the properties of cycloalkanes and more specifically the stability of different cycloalkanes. So right above here I drew out the, some of the different cycloalkanes each differ by of course adding a carbon to the ring where at first we have the cyclopropane we then have the cyclobutane and so on and so forth. Now the two things that, that alter their stability so much from one ring to the other is ring strain and torsional strain. Ring strain we can define by the difference between the ideal angle which is 109.5 and the actual angle which is different for each of these molecules and I wrote them out in purple for us. So that difference in angle is going to be that's going to create strain for this this molecule because it has to hold in that extra energy needed to fight off this difference in angle. As we know when we have four molecules attached to one central carbon we want them to be 109.5 degrees apart because that will keep them as far away from each other as possible. And when you're internal or inside a ring it, it what happens is they get locked in place by other bonds that prevent this angle from being achieved. And we then we also have torsional strain which is kind of a side effect of ring strain since again these carbons are held in place by these single bonds they are also forced to stay in one congress formation at times unless you have more carbons in that ring to achieve better ring strain and better torsional strain. Okay, So let's first talk about cyclopropane which has angles of 60 degrees each. It has one of the most total strain because it has suffers from both ring strain and torsional strain. It has a huge difference at 60 degrees each angle versus 109.5 being our ideal. It then has this giant gap here of about 49.5 degrees. And that huge difference creates a lot of energy needed to maintain the molecule. When you move on to your cycle of uh, butane, it actually is much less because it only is at a 90 degree. At worst case, this actually is slightly greater than 90 degrees because you're able to take advantage of slight bending in these bonds. So this actually can use a little of the 3D of its 3D structure. So it actually look a little offset in 3D space. So what I'm trying to say is it can kind of use other its other dimension now since it's not locked in place and it's slightly staggered so that they're not exactly on top of each other. Much easier to see on a model kit. I highly recommend using them for these if you want to understand them further. Now also you have torsional strain between these molecules because as I said three cyclopropane is locked in place these bonds can't really shift much. The, C, the hydrogen bonds off the side of it are also locked in place, meaning that they are constantly eclipsing each other. As shown in this diagram here, they are in, in a complete eclipse because the carbons on the molecule, if looked at through a top view, are both on top of each other. The hydrogens are also on top of each other, causing torsional strain as well. Torsional strain is the energy trying to uh, break out, trying to untwist, to torsion itself, twist and actually be in a more stable. There's no, this thing can't twist at all, so there's a ton of strain trying to push out and, uh, and to untwist this, these bonds. Now, if we talked about cyclobutane, it, you have a little bit more of its 3D help because it can twist now these bonds just in between these two with it slightly offset. If we wanted to get this gouge confirmation, we would have to add a lot more carbons to that ring. We would end up having to have a total of six and making our cyclohexane. Cyclohexane is unique because it has almost no strain in its most stable conformation, which is the, the chair conformation. Here, and when we have six carbons in a ring, they can all twist perfectly in that chair conformation, which looks a lot like 
this model here. When it, using our 3D space, being able to go up and down, these carbons actually make 109 degree, 109 degree angles, meaning they are extremely close to that 109.5. Now, since it so, has no ring strain at all, basically, has almost no torsional strain, this has a total of zero and is our basically our island of stability. The funny thing happens when we add another carbon to it, we go back to be having a ton of ring strain because this extra carbon actually destroys our angle and it can't twist as perfectly as the cyclohexane can. Now we're back to about 100 degrees, making it slightly more unstable than cyclobutane. So the only thing worse than this fellow here is the cyclo uh, propyl, propane uh, shown at the beginning. This is actually kind of due to the amount of angles we have here. Altogether, there's a lot of strain. Individually, this isn't this this is not a lot. But since we have so many of these angles, they add up and create more strain than only, than the four angles shown in the cyclobutane. If we went over the individual ring strain of each, these would be by far worse than the cycloheptane. So this has greater ring strain per individual, but of course not as terrible as the cyclopropane here.